welcome friends in this video i am going to show you two cases where rexis is extended and surgeon still managed to do a phaco without any complication i do not recommend to do phaco in all such scenarios please assess your own case and your own skill and take a decision in first case it was a fibrosed anterior capsule which was a culprit for extended rexis i was going with a normal routine phaco My usual practice to perform ccc is with 26 kg needle in this case there were fibrosed material all over the anterior capsule and at one such point i could not turn the rexis into a proper direction and it has got extended to peripheral area further rexis cannot be completed and have to convert to a can opener technique still it was manageable to do phaco with can opener technique in such scenarios try to keep your phaco hand piece in the center manipulate more with your left hand keep bottle height at a proper position where you should not get any surge use a sharp tip chopper so that chopping becomes easier meticulous use of left hand is very important while managing such scenarios a complete hydro dissection is must refill the chamber with visco and prevent any ac shallowing while performing phaco please do convert these cases to scs or ecc as per your comfort and do not hesitate to do so if you feel it is not safe to proceed further in this situation i have increased my phaco power and using it in continuous mode let the nucleus pieces come to your phaco tip and do not follow nuclear pieces to the periphery with your phaco hand piece you can do a slow surgery that way you will be more safe while performing irrigation aspiration please take care that you do not hold this torn anterior capsule into your ia pro use irrigation aspiration settings on lower side while implanting iol it is advisable to fill the chamber optimized not too much or too less as far as possible place the iol in the bag now going towards the second case where i had an issue of small ccc through which i was performing a phaco and it got extended while doing phaco emulsification to prevent extended rexis in mature cataract i was performing a smaller rexis which has landed up in trouble in this case in
this case cataract was also a bit leathery which was not breaking into two pieces nicely so i had a tough time managing this case if this happens to you keep breaking nucleus into smaller pieces and finish up those smaller pieces first now throughout the procedure my right hand fico hand piece is remaining in the central region i was sure that the rexis is not extended beyond equator and so i could still proceed with fico emulsification in this case A firm, stable anterior chamber is very important to manage such scenarios. So taking into consideration the machine you have, you should choose the parameters which will make the anterior chamber stable. Removing cortical matter from such bag is difficult. You start from the area which do not have any extension and in the last take the area which has extended rexis or you can remove the cortical matter or from the area of extension after implantation of IOL. Hope these two scenarios will help you someday while operating. Thank you for your patience.